Lake Naivasha is one of the most important wetlands in Africa. The lake is home to some of Kenya's symbolic wildlife and it's a source of life for its communities. There are four rivers that drain into the lake. The rivers are born in the highlands surrounding the lake. In the highlands, where the river is still young, the water is fast and restless. As the rivers double down the slopes, they change their character as they approach the lake. As we get closer to the lake, the river is like an old man. The water runs slowly and calmly. The lake and all its inhabitants are now facing a great problem. The water in the rivers is disappearing. Here in the upper Malewa River, we spoke to Karaoke from Kerema village. Ya kwamba mimi nimezaliwa hapa, nimezaliwa nimeukuta hapa. Lakini wakati nikizaliwa maji yalikuwa mengi. Ilikuwa mto mkubwa kabisa kabisa. Sasa tukiangalia hapa mahali mto wenyewe huko ni kama mita 50 kutoka kwa mto mpaka tulipo sasa. Wakati wa zamani wakati mvua imenyesha kubwa, maji ya Marewa huwa ilikuwa inavuka, inaofafuro, inafika mpaka hapo. The river is less now. The water in Lake Naivasha itself is getting lower. Water supply has been a problem in some areas of the catchment for a long time. Here in Yamadi, around 10 kilometers upstream from Lake Naivasha, the people have been struggling to get water. Sasa tunatoka kwa kilomita mingi kutoka kwetu kuelekea kuenda kutafuta maji pande kama karibu na Ivasha. Yaani kuona maji tuseme kwetu inakuanga shida sana. This is one of the closest water sources for the people of Nyamadi. It is a very long walk and the water is not even clean. The decreased water in the Malewa has a consequence for the fishermen. Na tumia maji, alafu pia na wanyama na mvua imepungua. When water is scarce, this is bad news for crops. Farmers in Nyamadi struggle to get good harvest of maize. In some places, water shortages have been a part of life since people first came here. But in others, such as the lower Malewa area, have suffered reduced water in recent years. We try to find out why this is happening. Kwa sababu miti yote ilikuwa mingi lakini sasa inaendelea na kwisha. Iki kwisha ata maji na kwisha. Maji ya mwalewa imeteremuka kabisa mpaka sasa ime kakiwango sasa wenyewe hata tunasindua. In the next few years tutafanya nini kwa sababu hatu takuwa na maji. Pakta kubwa ya irrigation nambayo muto inatumika. Una mifereji kama ishirini inateremukia hapa tu. Kwa hivu wakati wakiangazi. Maji yote inakuwa drone inapereko mashambani na kutakuna maji ya inapita. It's not just human beings that use too much water. We learned that trees can be greedy as well. Kuseme, eh, karibu na mito, kuna huu muti wa eucalyptus. Kulingana na utafiti ambao umefanywa, huu muti hutumia kama drum moja ya maji kila siku na ina evaporate kwa hewa. Kwa hivyo, Ina participate na kumaliza maji haraka sana kwa kasi mwenti ya maji. Eucalyptus trees are not African. 
They come from the dry lands of Australia. They have been introduced to many dry countries of the world. But almost everywhere they have been planted, they are now being removed because they deplete the groundwater. Populations have deforested the catchments for farming and settlement. This has caused rainfall reduction, low water levels, and massive erosion. Cultivation on steep slopes along river banks has increased floods, soil infertility, and crop failure. Evidence from scientists revealed that the lake has become shallow. This notwithstanding, all is not lost for the people of Naivasha. They hope to have enough water for today and days to come. Let's find out from the community itself. Tunajaribu kurudisha mazingira vile ilikuwa kwa upandaji wa miti na tunajaribu pia kuinua maisha ya watu kwa kuwaletea vitu yenye inaweza wainua kama ufugaji wa nyuki, mambo ya samaki, mambo ya ecotourism na mambo ya silk farming. Itatubidi pengine tu sisi kama wakaaji wa area hii tufanye kitu kidogo ili pengine tupande miti tufanye mengine ili kuzuia uo kuzidi kupungua kwa yale maji manake na ni ya muhimu sana kwa community tukiwa na borehole na tuwe na maji ya kutosha tunaweza kufanya irrigation eh, ile inaweza kuwa ikitupatia chakula na mapato ingine ile tu ikija unaona ni pesa ambazo wananchi zingine ni kupanda miti ambazo haitumii maji nyenye nyo fedha nyingi lakini kama ni watu watakuwa na nasari yao kwa hiyo rua itakuwa ni kama revenue generation lakini pia itakuwa inasaidia mambo ya e, kuhifadhi mazinga ama catchment The protection of catchment areas has been strengthened by communities and other stakeholders The community has formed user associations along the rivers mito ndio tuwehifadhi kuhifadhi mazingira ambayo ni catchment area katika kipenge kimoja cha water act kwa water resource management authority kuna watu ama sehemu fulani ambayo imekubalika ime ama inajulikana kisheria ambayo ni water resources users wale wenyewe ambao wanatumia hayo maji e, kama tunavyosema rua wako concerned sana na conservation ya maji wanake wakati wa mwezi wa pili ukifika wakati tumebeba hii maji yote tumeweka mashambani watu wa Rua Mareo Rua Rua Central Rua Gilgil na Naivasha lazima waumie kwa sababu maji tumetumia yote na kuna maji Communities have also sought other alternatives of water harvesting techniques Tumia bidu zingine kutafuta maji na njia zingine ndio angalau tukitumia maji kidogo tuna preserve ndio wale wako chini yetu wapate maji ya kutumia ni kwa vile tuko na shida ya maji hapa juu hakuna bwaro karibu. Sasa tukaona sasa afadhali tuwe tunajenga masimo kama hii, tuwe tunajiba masimo kama hii. Maji itakuwa ikitoka kwa barabara wakati ule kuna nyesha. Hii tanki tunataka kutunalima nayo, alafu tunajuga nayo mangombe. In the upper catchment, the community is replacing the greedy eucalyptus with indigenous tree species. Mr. Karioki explains. Tuseme E, karibu na mito kuna huu mti wa eucalyptus. Kulingana na utafiti ambao umefanywa, huu mti hutumia kama gram moja ya maji kila siku na ina evaporate kwa hewa. Kwa hivyo ina participate na kumaliza maji haraka sana kwa catchment ya maji. Kwa hivyo letu ni kukata hii miti yote tutakata kutoka mpaka hapa mpaka Naivasha. Tutakiria all the eucalyptus tutangua zote, tutakata kata na kutumia na alafu tutaenda kwa Kenjen wao ni kama nilivyoambia wako na nasari ya e, indigenous trees zile ambazo zinasaidia ku preserve catchment area ya maji kwa hivyo tutakata tutalima all around the river bank tena tutapanda zile miti ambazo zitatumika ku preserve maji 
Water abstraction is now regulated by the government through the water authorities. Rules it katokezia ni kwamba maji yalipiwe matumizi. Matumizi maji kutumika ni kutumika pesa zile ambazo zinalipwa ama rasilimali ya kifedha ile ambayo inapatikana inarudi sasa kuja kuangalia mazingara ama kuangalia mambo ya catchment. Tuseme sasa una, tunalipa maji. National wide sasa ile kufika wakati maji lazima ulipe. Na sasa wakati tunalipa they say that this money must flow back to the sources and preserve the catchment areas. Kwa hivyo pesa tukitoa sio ziende. Hizi pesa zitatusaidia tutatengeneza cleaners areas hapa ndio tuweze kuconserve the, 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 the water catchment area. The community is happy about these initiatives. Conflicts have been resolved. Ndio ni swali muhimu na mzozo huwa unafika kila wakati wa kiangazi every year. We are very serious disaster. Watu wanataka kukatakanana. This resource is so important. Na kwa hivyo wale walio chini lazima waje waseme maji na sisi tuna haki ya kutumia. Kwa hivyo huwa sisi wakati wa kulinda maji na kwa tunakaa na mapanga kwa mito. Kulinda maji asiyete na wengine. They want to concentrate all the power all, all the sources, all the intakes to jenga one common intake. Manake tukijenga one common intake sote tukiweka kwa fridge hautakuja kuniambia mimi nimekumalizia nini nimekumalizia maji na kwanza shida ilikuwa ni kwamba watu wenyewe kuelewana yule ambaye yuko juu anaona maji yote akiyatumia hana shida yote ilichukua muda lakini tumetumia lugha ambayo wanaelewa ambayo ni conflict resolution tulikuwa tunaonyesha kwanza manufaa yao kwanza alafu tukaondoa ile ubinafsi ya kwamba hakuna mtu ametambuliwa pale isipokuwa rua yani ule umoja na kuungana na kuwa registered na legally kama kuna chochote ambacho kitakuja kufanywa itakuwa ni kwamba ni mambo yote lazima ipitie kwa rua water resources users association to save our livelihoods and those of our children our economy and our biodiversity depends entirely on our day-to-day -day activities. Save me, was told by me, you better put your baby.